I'm supposed to look for a special species of tree in this area. I don't know if I'll be able to find it in the dark though. That is Denver. I think I found it. it said to have needles that are about an inch long and have white specks and the cones have small bristles. Yeah, I think this is it. And another comment said that these trees can grow several thousand years old and they're pretty uncommon and this may be the only grove on the entire CDT. I'll have to remember to look up what these white specks are later. And by grove, I mean two trees, because that's all I've found so far. Oh wait, I think I found a baby one. I just hadn't gotten to the main area yet. I've seen some more. This one grew like horizontally for a while and then vertically. The last one was the gnarliest I've seen, but this is still pretty good. Somebody did a really nice job making a path through this boulder field so that I can cross easily, even in the dark. There's frost, but only on the upturned dirt, not on any hard packed dirt. And I wonder if it's because this, this dirt that's been dug up by the moles has some, uh, more moisture in it. This whole trail going up to Mount Flora has been full of excellent rock work on the trail. I mean, look at this. Little side rails, perfect stepping stones. It's been like this the whole way. That was Mount Flora, and there were actually day hikers. It's a Saturday. People are out climbing the same mountains I am. Also, my heart is doing much better. Um, Mount Flora was, I think, um, 13,100, and my heart didn't start beating really fast until a higher elevation than on the James Peak. Also, the day hiker at the top told me some news that I hadn't heard because I don't check news at all on trail. The Lord of the Rings TV show is now out. A couple episodes. So I know what I'm doing in town next time I have time. This is Berthed Pass. Huge parking lot. So right now I'm going through all of my food and evaluating whether I have enough to get to Breckenridge or if I need to hitch into Winter Park. I think I'm gonna go for it. Well, this is not a great water source, and I'm not even sure if I'm at the right one, but it's under the road just south of the parking lot. So I filled up. That's where I came from this morning, and that's nothing. 
And this is the ridge I'll be following now. Right, and this is the top of Stanley Mountain. I think it's some sort of mining operation. I found some more bristlecone pines. This time I can see them in the daytime. Today started out with Beautiful blue skies, not a cloud, not even a breath of wind on top of uh, Mount Flora this morning. Uh, but it was really warm last night, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be thunderstorms later this afternoon. And yeah, the clouds are already appearing. All right, some rain over there, but that's south. I think it's heading east. And then this over here is where I'll be walking. And I do have a bailout point if necessary. That is behind and to the south of me. So right now, there's still places with tree cover that I can bail to pretty easily. And no thunder over here. If it gets too sketchy, I'll either turn back or bail out down a trail. If I go any further, I get up on that ridge, which does have a bailout point in a couple miles, but if I got caught in the middle, it looks too steep to get down to safety. So I think I'm just gonna sit here and eat my lunch and watch the rain and see which way it's going and get some more information. Well, the winds really picked up while I was sitting there, coming straight at me from the storm. And the clouds were getting a little closer, or rather the storm was getting bigger in my direction. I don't know which. Um, so now I'm walking down into this random little valley with no trail just to kind of see, see if it's a good place. There's not a way down that's easy anyway over here, but I do see a faint trail going down that slope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this ridge is going to have some thunder and lightning. So I'm just going to go down into the valley. The way down was a little steep, but not too bad. And here's the spot I was eyeing from up on the saddle. It looks like it'll work. It's kind of cool. Just exploring this little valley. No trails or anything down here. It's about 3 p.m. and I've set up my tent because my food situation is a little tight, so I don't have time to sit around doing nothing. So if I'm going to have to wait out a thunderstorm, I better be doing something productive like taking a nap. <laughs> uh, so this camp is either my nap place or maybe my actual campsite for the night and then I get up really early and hike the ridge. I don't know. We'll just see. Okay, I had a nice nap, but... <laughs> The weather is too nice not to hike out. I was thinking about camping here, but no. Look at that beautiful sky. Yep, all clear. A world of difference from when I sat here and ate my lunch three hours ago. I am on top of the very generically named Summit, and it's 12,600. <laughs> And there is the ridge rock that I've decided to do at sunset. <laughs> Hi 
I've been running the last, I've been running the downhills. I think this is the last one I can run. The next downhill will be dark. This saddle has a really strong gap wind. The winds get funneled through there like a river through a small bottleneck and the speed increases. So over here, it's not that much wind. It's pretty nice. Okay. I'm at the summit. Now it's all downhill to the water source and my campsite. I've been off the ridge for a while now, but this is where I consider myself sort of officially done with the exposed part. Even though it's nighttime and I don't see any day hikers, I know I've gotten to the part where the day hikers come because the trail is so wide. This isn't a road, this is just trail. <laughs> 